YouTube, what's going on? I'm meeting a friend of mine named Drake out here at Phil. Phil Hardberger Park. I didn't know if I said that right. And we're gonna be going over a project. She has a butterfly sanctuary, and I think it's a sanctuary. I'll let her explain it better when she gets here. Right now, I'm looking for a restroom. I gotta be. I found the sign I was looking for. Not that one. That one. Learning Center, right? Butterfly Learning Center. This is Drake. She's my friend. She's got this Butterfly Learning Center. She's a butterfly master. Now, is there a technical term for it? Um, not really. I guess a butterfly educator. There you go. Um, so, what I teach you um, about butterflies, how the difference between butterflies and moths is one when they're either whether they're big or or, or little um, when they first land if their wings are closed and up it's a butterfly okay if they land open flat then it's moth wow okay so when they first land now butterflies will land and then open their wings to warm themselves got you but when they first land on something and the wings are closed it's a butterfly how cool so another way to tell is if you look at the antenna on the tips of the antenna, butterflies will always have like a little club foot. So it'll be like a little thin and then have like this little club foot okay. on the end. A moth will always have something that resembles a feather. So their on antenna. On the end of it? Will, the whole thing will have little oh. hairs that look like a feather. Got you. Got you. Um, some are big, some are small. So, and then how you can tell the difference in moths between male and female. If it's skinny, little feather like, it's a female. If it's broad and showy, Oh, yeah. cool. So, there you go. Learn something new. That's Learn super awesome. Now, everybody, you got to look for the moths and the butterfly differences where you're at. And two, check your property for milkweed. Milkweed, milkweed for monarchs. Yes. What does milkweed look like? Um, there are lots of different species of, of milkweed. So, um, the ones that are native here for us in Texas are common milkweed, swamp milkweed, um, butterfly weed, which is Asclepia tuberosa. Um, Really be clear on getting that one because some people will tell you that, um, oh, this is butterfly weed and it's actually tropical milkweed and stay away from tropical milkweed. Yeah. That's native to Mexico, it's not native to here and it is becoming invasive, but it's also some, a plant that carries the OE spore, Ooh. which is what gets into the caterpillar and makes it sick and then spreads to other living. Oh no, and it kills yeah, off the Yeah, and it's virus. killing off them, killing off, well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily really kill them, it makes them sick. Okay. So they die from their sicknesses, but it's a host that actually wants to keep its its um, thing alive. So it's not there really killing it, but it's making them very sick, which in turn kills them. Gotcha. Um, but then it keeps going and spreading to uh, the other monarchs. The monarchs are what is really being affected by that right now. Between the eradication of milkweed, pesticides, and, and herbicides, um, that's what's affecting the monarchs. Wow. And, and as far as what they look like, what, is it, what does it look like as compared to like something like that? Um, so, there, if you get uh, common milkweed, um, common milkweed will have a broad leaf that are probably about as big as my hand. Okay. And it'll kind of come up and, and cup like that on each side. And then it has a huge ball looking with a bunch of little flowers. Gotcha. It'll look like a bulb, like a big round sphere. Yeah. Um, with a bunch of little flowers. Um, and they'll kind of look wax-like. Okay. Um, but it's, it's a huge pollinator so it's not just for monarchs um, queens also use it the queen caterpillar um, queen butterflies um, we use it also so will so soldier um, butterflies um, but that's the only plant that they eat is milkweed okay. as to where like if you get um, a black swallowtail a black swallowtail they'll use dill parsley fennel oh wow um, lots of things that they'll use um, queen ants lace they have a lot of options so monarchs don't they yeah. have milkweed that's it they and I might, I might have an abundance of milkweed on my property because I think when that happens when they're uh, flourishing uh -huh. like that, it's majority monarchs because okay. I've, I've seen so many monarchs. I can kind of, you know, like, I mean, because they're the colors, obviously, black and orange, right. a little white and stuff. Right. So, but yeah, I know that, that, but I see others also that are smaller. And right. And you'll pinky. get some, like, if, if you have more than likely on your property, you'll either have the Asclepia tuberosa, which is the butterfly weed, or um, antelope's horn. Um, and there's also um, a spider milkweed, which is green antelope horn, 
Um, and that's probably could be what you have on there too. I have to come out and yeah, you and, just have to come and look and, and check and see what what you have. The, the antelope horn will probably only get about maybe a foot and a half tall, but it branches out. Okay. So it'll spread out about two and a half to three feet wide, but it'll but it only gets about this tall. So if you're not really familiar with it and have never seen it, you might not know. But it's still gonna get those ball-like um, flowers, and it'll be a bunch of little flowers. I'll send you some pictures so you can actually yeah, yeah, yeah. see. Yeah, and I'll put them in the vlog so yeah. y'all can see too. Um, that way you, you know exactly what um, it looks like. Cause it's, the flower is just beautiful. Really? Beautiful. Um, and I, and I, like I said, I'll send you some pictures. That way you can actually um, see the different types, different yeah. colors. Some are white, some are purple, some yeah. are pink. Um, and uh, they're just something that, and then some of them have a really good smell and then some just doesn't smell. Really? Yeah, common milkweed, it has very kind of a, a spicy vanilla smell. Oh. Um, as to where antelope horn, really not so much. There's yeah. nothing to smell, but it's really pretty to look at. So, oh, cool. yeah, helps save Thank our monarchs. You. Look at that, guys. Remember, look for that. Need plants? The nectar bar. The nectar, nectar bar. The nectar bar. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Drake. Thank you. I'm standing over here at the Phil Harburger Park, and right behind me is where I met Drake earlier. Now, I don't know, can you tell from what this is over here? It's a butterfly garden, but I didn't notice this until she pointed it out. Look at the shape of it. It's a butterfly. You see it? I was just told by one of the employees here that the center part here is going to be a waterfall. Right now it's empty, they're still in the process of building it. But isn't that cool? So I'm coming by the Habitat for Humanity to see if I can find any uh, supplies to further the project. There's always something cool and new when you come to the Habitat for Humanity. For example, I don't need a table like this, but look at these tables. If you had like a venue to put those at, man. Or if you opened up your own school, come on. I gotta make sure I turn off the radio when I walk in here when I'm recording now. I've been flagged and had to re-edit videos because of uh, the background music. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do it. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is in the learning center where we were, I'm gonna build a metal sculpture of a butterfly that's gonna be stationary, posing in one spot, and then I'm gonna make a quarter-sized replica so she can present to somebody, I won't say yet who, when they do the opening ceremony for that little area. So, it's very important that I do this very well. I came to uh, the storage unit to see if I can get some furniture out of here today and moved it into my studio as I've been talking about. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm back here at the studio and my armpit is itchy. I don't know why, but that's weird. Both of them. I picked up a bunch of stuff as you saw from the storage and some other stuff from where I dropped some of it off. I picked up some license plates that I had, some old Texas license plates, some pegboard, some old signs like street signs and beer signs and advertising. I'm going to hang those on the roof in here. Uh, also um, emptied the trailer. I have the stuff outside but it's in a safe area, it's covered and tomorrow morning I'm gonna get in here and, and uh, start moving stuff around. It's already been a long day 
and I'm tired and I'm gonna go and eat supper and watch a movie and crash out. I'll probably get 20 minutes into the movie and fall asleep. So, okay, this is the question. I know I just said it. I said supper. Is that a southern thing or is that? I'm guessing it's a southern thing because a lot of people I know say supper, but a lot of people I know say dinner. You tell me what you say. Do you say su uh, supper or do you say dinner? I mean, it doesn't matter. You don't got to. But let's see. Ooh. Just saw that. And on that note, I'm going to let you guys go tonight. I'm done for tonight. Back at it again. I did some weird camera stuff this time with the garage door thing. Huh? You like that? That was pretty good, right? I'm going to try to do some more of that kind of thing to make it more interesting. And I'll get better as I go and learn tricks and stuff, but I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning how to edit and music and volume and lighting and I'll get there. This is vlog 31 for crying out loud. Okay, and I'm digging it so far. I hope you are too. Please comment, let me know your feedback. If it's good or bad, doesn't matter. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. All feedback I can get, the better, because I need to grow from it, so. Thank you. Hey! Brown skin, Jones. Hey! China, too. You can't see China. Hey! Little boys over here, too. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Talk to you. Talk at you tomorrow. We're good. Say good night, buddy. There you go. Oh, sorry, man. What do you think? Ooh, cat turkey.